Good morning. My name is Cliff Irvin David. I am a faculty in Pangasinan State University Business Administration Department, Lingayen Campus. I am here to present my research study entitled Technology Integration Among Educators and Teaching Business Courses. To start my presentation, I would like to share to you the importance of technology. We all know that technology is everywhere. And it is important to integrate ICT to the teaching style because it will assist the teachers to the global requirements to replace traditional teaching methods with a technology-based teaching and learning tools and facilities. The problem of this study are the following. Profile of the educators, teachers' perception of ICT integration in teaching, effectiveness of ICT integration for students' learning, effective elements in ICT integration in teaching and learning in schools. The methods used, we have the research design, which is, I adapted the quantitative method of research. I use the survey for data gathering. Sources of data, of course, business educators in Pangasinan. And a proposed something used that is selected based on characteristic of a population and the objective of the study is used also. Data gathering and analysis. We have frequency and percentage. And in order to simplify a statistical computation, all data was imputed into spreadsheet. Next, you have the results under the profile, profile gender. The data gathered under this research study, which is under 106 respondents, majority of them is female. Next, you have teaching experience of these respondents. We have most of them has one to three years of teaching experience. School type, majority of them, which is 75% or 75.5% of the 106 respondents is affiliated with government. Next, you have the preference of teaching style, which is majority Again, of the 106 respondents, which is 90.6%, has preferred to the modern or contemporary uh, teaching style, which is we included the use of technology, use of information and communications technology. Next, we have the highest academic qualification still under the results profile. The, or majority of the respondents is or has bachelor's degree and they are taking up masteral degree and they already earned masteral units. Next, you have the ability of handling ICT in teaching. Under the data gathered, majority of the Respondents has a medium ability of handling ICT in teaching. Next, we have the results under the third teacher's perception of ICT integration in teaching. If we take a look on the um, presentation, I have used two statements or two divided statements on this problem. We have the 
positive and negative statements. Under the positive statements, um, the data gathered is favorable. And under the negative statement, the data gathered is unfavorable. But if we convert the negative to unfavorable, negative unfavorable, it will become favorable for the static. So next we have the effectiveness of ICT integration for students learning. The result of the uh, effectiveness of integrating ICT for students learning is also favorable. Meaning to say that students can adapt to the um, technology that is being used by our educators. And we have effective elements in ICT integration in teaching and learning in public schools. If we take a look on the result, the, um, the presentation says to us that this problem is somewhat ineffective. The elements of ICT integration in teaching and learning in public schools is somewhat ineffective. Next, you have the conclusion and recommendation. Under conclusion, teachers' perception of ICT integration in teaching is favorable. ICT integration for students' learning is effective. And elements in ICT integration in teaching and learning is somewhat ineffective. So this is our recommendation. The ICT integration is favorable by both the teachers and the students. But it is recommended that the elements of ICT integration in teaching, as well as to the learning of the student, needs to be improved, especially in the areas where weaknesses is found. The School of Management should support the ICT integration to teaching and learning to encourage both the educators and the learners. There should be time allotted for the schools to use the ICT and the ICT tools should be maximized by the teachers. That ends my presentation about my research study. Take Thank you and have a good day.